All right, this is a presentation that I just created using Perplexity AI. And as you can see, it looks quite professional. The design is simple and it is able to communicate the points really, really well. So in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you can create a presentation that look like this using only Perplexity AI. And by the way, since Perplexity is able to access websites from the internet, it can do a research on your behalf and gather all the content and create this presentation in just a few minutes and you don't have to do anything but wait. Okay, let me show you how I can do that. I'm going to minimize this first. Now let's go to perplexity.ai and then log in with your account. And right now we are going to be using a feature called Perplexity Lab. So you have to be in the pro or enterprise subscription in Perplexity. And if you're still using the free version, you can use the link in the video description to get the pro version discount for the first month. Now uh, you can use this prompt. I'm going to copy this. Don't worry, the prompt will be available in the video description. Okay, generate a web app presentation slides about, and then this is where you can write the topic. And in this case, I want to make a presentation about the history of electric bike. Or maybe electric bicycle to be precise, because bike and bicycles could be used interchangeably. But in this case, I want to know uh, the history about electric bicycle and then incorporate visual content concise text that just the prompt it's quite simple feel free to expand this but this is the prompt that i'm going to use and here you can enable perplexity labs this is very important you have to enable that and this is where you can select where you want perplexity to get the information from you can enable web academic social and finance if the topic is related to finance or investment but in this case i'm going to just enable web academic and social because the topic is not about finance at all and you can also upload some documents to guide ai or to help out with reference some info but that is optional and after that you can just send the message and wait for perplexity to generate or actually we'll do the research first and it will generate the presentation in just about maybe five to 10 minutes depending on the complexity of your request. So I'll be back with the result in a moment. All right, so it is finally done and this is the result. So it will generate this web application and if you want to see it in full screen then you can click this button, view full screen and it will open basically a website or maybe not okay let me try it again a few full screen and it usually will open some sort of website okay this thread does not exist i have no idea why but i suppose because it's not yet finished so i guess i'm going to wait again and let's click this okay so uh finally it has been created and this is what the presentation look like and basically you can click this button to go to the next slide and yeah there is this picture there's also some nice animation yeah it looks quite interesting yeah it definitely looks amazing i like this style and by the way there is no full screen button as far as i can see so you can press the f11 key on your keyboard and it will enter the full screen mode and then you can present it with a big screen and of course you can actually download this as an html file and then you can open it offline via a browser so you can go to the assets menu right here and then you can click download all or you can also just go to the labs menu and then click the download code button i think you have to go with this one and it will download the html version of this presentation along with all the assets like images and many other things and you can present it offline via a browser or pretty much any browser so that's how you can create a presentation using perplexity ai and there are many other amazing things that you can do with this tool so be sure to subscribe to this channel because i'll explore more possibilities and variations that you can do with perplexity labs so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video have a great day